shadow shaping on focusing lights. As we mentioned before, with regular focusing lights, barn doors will always give a relatively soft shadow edge. Although this is depicted a little bit more defined when the light is in the flood position, or in the spot position, the barn doors become ineffective and no clean shadow shapes can be formed. For hard edge, clearly defined shadows, special lights with more complex optics are common, called ellipsoidals, as you find with ETC or Source 4, so-called LECOs or profilers. Already the original focusing dado light was offered with an imager, a projection attachment, for which the optics had been designed to cooperate with a more complex dual lens optical design of dado light, the patented double aspheric system. These imagers, projection attachments, now exist for any size in the entire dado light range, from the smallest 10 watt LED light to the largest 1200 watt HMI light. These very special optics are designed to match the function of the optical system within the light heads, offer unique qualities, which may not be needed by everybody or every time, but if you need the cleanest light and shadow shaping, then these attachments offer perfect and easy to use solutions. For all of these images and projection devices, their purpose-designed projection lenses to further perfect and enhance the light shaping performance of clean light and shadow, with no halation, no irisation, no red, green, blue colorization at the shadow edges. These optics also provide the highest possible transmission. Now, these interchangeable projection optics provide an extremely wide angle all the way to telephoto lenses to create small images over a large distance and many different focal lengths to cover the demands for all in-between solutions. On most of these systems there are also zoom lenses available. In every one of these different sizes of these images projection attachments there are versions available which work with four moving shutter blades, allowing light framing and straight patterns, trapezoidal patterns, even triangles. The amazing performance and quality even allow to form extremely narrow light exits without any color fringing, no irisation or halation, just perfectly clean light and shadow shapes. The versatility of these instruments allows to light an entire large wall or with the same instrument you can choose the lighting of a selected facet of a diamond. From the biggest to the smallest, it covers everything with amazing precision. The aforementioned version of these images which incorporates the shutter blades can be used to perform razor-sharp light and shadow shapes. The edges of the shadow shapes can be softened by defocusing the projection lens. Sometimes you may want to create totally unnoticeable effects. And then it may prove that defocusing the projection lens still leaves an effect that is noticeable, more than you want. One of my friends called Julio Macat, the director of photography who shot films like Home Alone, told me that he also shot a lot of music videos. And in these music videos, he loved to make what he calls eyes. When we talked about this, he mentioned that the effect, as it was known from old Russian films, highlighting the eye portion of a face 
to give a particular dramatic effect. This needs to be a floating, hardly noticeable effect, but it can still be very impressive. I tried to perform this with our imager, and even when defocusing the projection lens, I could not achieve this. I attempted to reach this by the use of any of the diffusion gels that I knew, 23 different kinds of them. It couldn't be done. Furthermore, I tried to achieve this with all of my camera filters, and still it didn't work, until I finally got the idea that what I want here and what is needed has nothing to do with diffusion, but something very special that I called a soft edge effect. Simply softening the edges of the shadow without causing much diffusion at all. It took us a long time to create three special soft edge filters, which had the original name called Julio's Eyes. This is a wonderful tool that can be used with filter number one, two, or three, or any combination of them. And in conjunction with the right choice of focal length projection lens, many unnoticeable highlights and effects can be created where nobody will see what you've done. Most people won't even notice that there is any effect, but is still extremely functional so that you can only make people see it when you put your hand in front of the light and make the effect disappear. This is not only a good solution if you want to create this eye highlight effect, but it also functions for any kind of effect that you want to place on a product or anything that doesn't move, if you want to do it in such a way that nobody will be able to tell what you've done but it still works and it's very impressive. Think, for example, of a label on a bottle that with this effect will be much more noticeable. It will make itself more prominent in the way that you light it with the eye filters, creating this kind of an effect. There are hundreds of other applications where this could be very useful. It may very well be worthwhile to play with it and make it part of your creative work. Other versions of our images, projection attachments, are dedicated or come with interchangeable modules for the projection of gobos or using irises or projecting background effect filters. Here are some of the effects that you can create with an iris. or projecting gobos. Of the commonly available steel gobos, there's a variety of over 600 different light and shadow patterns. Sometimes you may want to use them in combination with our color effect filters. Because we also have dichroic color effect filters, which do not bleach and can be used continuously over many years. To give you yet another range of interesting tools to project on your backgrounds, or even on your talents or products, are our background effect filters. Structured glasses coated with dichroic colors. 11 different patterns in 8 different colors, available in all the different sizes for our different images and projection attachments. Interesting background effects which change their character 
depending whether you project them in focus or throw them more or less out of focus. More effects can be achieved if you combine steel gobos with these background effect glasses. Make a sandwich. All of this may give you a little introduction to some of our thoughts and available tools and instruments and toys for light shaping. There are many more, and some of those are derived from discussions, demands, ideas and dreams of our users. So please take this as a serious invitation to let us have your thoughts, your criticism, your ideas. We love to listen, and it helps us to build the right instruments to fulfill your creative dreams. I'm Dado.